What is happening guys, it's your boy TC back with another video. So today we're going to be discussing contracts. I'm definitely sick about discussing contracts. It seems as if we're always in a situation where someone needs to sign a contract or someone is about to leave or is on the verge of leaving the club due to a contract not being signed. So the player we will be discussing in today's video is Aaron Ramsey. So as you all know, Aaron Ramsey's contract is up for renewal. It's coming to an end at the end of next season. So we still have roughly about a year and a half to time down but there's one major talking point in regards to this. Obviously, we've had some new additions to the team in the form of Mkhitaryan as well as uh, Aubameyang and Ozil has recently also signed a new deal. So Ozil's deal is a very, very big deal. It's a bumper deal. It's uh, estimated to be a roughly about £350,000 a week. So as you all know, Ramsey is uh, he's actually doing all right this season. Uh, it's not the, uh, the season that he had a few years back where he was scoring absolutely loads of goals throughout the season but he's having a great season so far he's been hindered by injury here and there but as you'll remember in the last outing he scored a hat-trick against Everton it was a fantastic hat-trick as well a mixed bag of goals he certainly scored on that particular day and as I said he's definitely in fantastic form so as mentioned obviously we've had those three individuals i've mentioned who've recently signed new contracts with the club so two of them were joining the other one was an existing player i believe this is going to be pivotal in terms of actually negotiating a contract for aaron ramsey because he's going to be looking at these guys wages and thinking right i can certainly demand or command that amount of money um so i believe there's going to be a very 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 lengthy contract discussion process i believe if he was to come available for free or if the club was to place him on the market, um, he won't be short of any offers at all. Uh, if you do remember when we did get him from Cardiff a while back, uh, we had to wrestle him off um, Man United. They wanted him as a player and I do believe the club's hierarchy, who was obviously still in place now, if the opportunity arose to actually get him to United, I do believe that they will certainly seize that opportunity to get him back to United or get him to United, I should say. He's not that old. He's young. He's 26 years old. Welsh international, Welsh captain, and he scores goals. He's a fantastic box-to-box -box midfielder. And this has been proven this season. He's been playing in his natural position and um, he's been absolutely fantastic for us. So, the club certainly have got a long way to go until he has this deal signed. My gut feeling tells me that he's going to sign for the club. But why do we find ourselves in this situation on a regular basis? Of course, Alexis Sanchez was in a similar situation. He ended up leaving. Uh, we did get a good deal in that particular situation. But Ozil, again, we found ourselves with six months remaining on his deal and we just managed to give him a deal. Of course, reports came out and surfaced that the players within the team knew that he was going to stay, but that's not the point. The whole point is to secure your most valuable assets early, make sure they sign on the dotted line, and then you can plan, obviously, for the future. You can move ahead and actually make sufficient plans. As it stands, we won't know if Ramsey is going to be staying in the summer or he's going to be leaving the following summer. And in terms of planning, it in my opinion, that will hinder your planning processes in terms of if you do need to get reinforcements in that area or you just need to hand a new deal to that particular individual. So I don't know why the club find themselves in this particular situation quite often. And uh, it's becoming a very, very regular occurrence. We also know that Jack Wilshere's contract is running out at the end of this season. And to me, that is another contract that's very, very vital that needs to be signed as soon as possible. Jack himself has come out and stated that I would love to stay at the club. The reports were also suggesting that he may certainly take a pay cut to drop down to £90,000 a week. His performances this season have been absolutely fine, in my opinion. He's been one of the best players we've had on the pitch in most cases, to be honest, when Ozil and Sanchez were missing he's been the only one who's been carrying the team forward so I do believe Jack should also sign a contract he's an Arsenal man through and through and as I said he's actually come out and stated that he'd love to sign a contract uh, as far as Wenger is concerned he did also say that Jack Walsh will be signing a contract sometime soon so my gut instinct also tells me that they may wait until the end of the season but it's yet to be seen we're still waiting we need to know if this is going to happen as fans but as usual guys Please do let me know what you think in the comments below. If you are watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel, please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button. So once again, guys, it's your boy TC from I'm Gonna Talk TV. And I'm out.